Hey kids, today we're going to do module 4, lesson 7. Here's Mrs. Wallace. Hey, thanks Nick. Today our aim is how do we multiply any whole number by a fraction using tape diagrams. Okay, so problem number one. What is three-fifths of 35? Now I, I know this is a whole lot of writing and language here, but we'll go through it step by step and we will be just fine. So we are doing the same thing as I always do on the board. What is our whole? 35. How many units should we cut the whole into? Five, right? Five is our denominator, so we have one, two, three, four, five sections. We then know that five units, the whole thing, equals 35. How do we find the value of three of those units if we know all five equals 35? Well, we can say 35 fifths equals seven because we know when we write a fraction and we read it as a division problem, we would read it 35 divided by 5, and we know the answer is 7. So that's what's over here for you. So how will we find 3 units of 35? Well, we take the 1 unit, which we know is 7, and we multiply it by 3 because we want to find how many units are here. Okay, so 3 times 7 is 21. So once we find the value of one unit, then it's easy for us to find the value of multiple units. Okay, so that's our tape diagram. We're going to be using those in this lesson. Problem two. Anna buys two dozen roses. Of these roses, three-fourths are red and the rest are white. How many white roses did she buy? This is going to bother me because it should be capital. Okay, so I broke my word problem up into a tape diagram. Two dozen, right? We have to change that into units. So two dozen equals 24 roses. Three-fourths of them are red. One, two, three are red. The rest are white. How many white roses did she buy? So that's our question mark, and this is our whole tape diagram showing our word problem. So two dozen equals 24. Three-fourths are red, and one-fourth are white. So what do we know? Four units equals 24. Therefore, one unit is the same as saying 24-fourths or 24 divided by 4, and one unit then is 6. Okay, are you with me? So if one unit is 6, and Anna bought one-fourth of 24, or white, then one-fourth is 6, because one unit would be 6. So how many are red? 6, 12, 18, because each unit is 6. Okay, next one. Two-thirds of a number is 8. So this one's a little bit different. Before we, were, we knew the whole, now we don't know the whole. We know what the fraction equals. Pretty fancy, huh? You like my colors? Okay. So we know that two units, two of these, equals eight. So we know that eight out of two, or eight halves, equals four. We already know that, right? Because eight divided by two, which is eight, divided by one, two, equals four. So therefore, 3 units equals 3 times 4. Okay, so let that sink in for a second. 2 units equals 8, because I'm dividing 8 by these 2. So 8 divided by 2 equals 4, which is the same as saying 8 
halves, right? So then I need three units. So if I know one unit is four, I would say three times the one unit is 12. So the number that's missing is 12. So two thirds, two thirds of, yikes, that's bad writing, of 12 equals eight. Okay, so your answer is 12. Moving onward. Tiffany spent four sevenths of her money on a teddy bear. How nice. If the teddy bear costs $24, how much money did she have at first? So again, we don't know the whole. We know how much she spent out of her money. She spent four sevenths of her money. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts of her total money. And out of that, four of the seven equals $24. So let's see what we know. We know four units equals 24. So that means one unit equals 24 fourths, which is six, right? 24 divided by four is six. So therefore, if we know one unit equals six, how much do all seven units equal? Seven times one unit is six equals 42. So the missing number is 42. So she had $42 all together. So four sevenths of 42 equals 24. Okay, if you need to go back, rewind and watch that, then please do so. Take your time, no rush. You will be asked to do tape diagramming, um, so make sure that you understand what I'm doing there, okay? And there you go. You're on your own. Here's the problem set that you're doing and the answers. It's really pretty straightforward, follows the video. Um, as I said, you will be asked to do tape diagramming, so go back and look at the different types when you know the whole and when you only know parts of the whole. Okay, there are two different types of ta tape diagramming and they get set up in different ways. Alrighty, thanks to our guest announcer, Nicholas Wallace, for introducing me today. And I will see you in the morning. Have a good night.